Exactly a week ago today, an 18-year-old gunman walked into an elementary school and killed 19 students and two teachers in Uvalde, Texas. Americans continue to mourn the lives taken far too soon. And tonight, people in our community here at home gathered at the steps of the Idaho State House for a vigil to honor and remember those 21 victims. The group March for Our Lives Idaho called for action from local and state leadership. News Channel 7's Tristan Lewis was there. Tristan, what was the mood like earlier? Morgan, it was a pretty emotional night for those who were in attendance from tonight's visual. Uh, more than 100 people came out to the Idaho uh, State House uh, stairs to pay their respects to those 21 lives tragically lost in Uvalde last weekend. People brought flowers, people bought chalk. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, people brought chalk to send messages to anybody that's coming by our state and local lawmakers, especially that those messages. Kate Stevens, the head of the local March for Our Lives chapter, says she felt a sense of shock when she heard about Uvalde. She says Idaho and Texas are very similar with their lack of common sense gun laws. Stephen says she and her group brought forward legislation, had educational committees and had conversations with lawmakers before, but has been shut down. That is because um, of a fear of not being reelected, not getting funding for elections. Um, and we need to get over that fear because our children are dying. Your generations that are following you are dying and no one is doing anything about it. So it's a wake up call right now. Stephen says with the number of people who came out tonight, she feels hopeful this latest tragedy could result in change to firearm laws in Idaho and the rest of the country. Senator Melissa Wintrow tells me the group who ran tonight's vigil is the same group she worked with during the legislative session trying to get laws around gun safety on the books. Senator Wintrow also hopes that what happened tonight creates more meaningful and impactful conversation around gun safety and storage. And we also spoke with many others who are here tonight. And they tell me this is one of the more meaningful memorials they've ever been to in their whole lives. And I really want to get across just the, some of those messages that were left. One woman came up to me telling me that uh, she's tried to reaching out to all of our state congressmen and our uh, state uh, senators trying to just get what happened to try and talk to them about that. She says she has not heard back from any of them. So she wrote a message saying email our state lawmakers to make sure that they know what you want and get your voice heard. They just want any messages to be put out there and just say enough is enough. Morgan. Yeah, enough is enough. All right, Tristan Lewis, powerful vigil tonight. Thank you.